As I mentioned, I'm going to be continuing to improve this process as time goes on. What I changed this time is I added a total stalls row in order to clarify the fact that ChargePoint has more stations than Tesla, but Tesla is just obviously much larger. Also, there's a study by the National Renewable Energies Laboratory um, where I pulled this graph. This represents how many electric vehicles are anticipated to be on the road by 2030 and how many DC fast charger ports would be necessary. And that number is 180,000. This little gauge indicates how close we are to the 180,000 goal by 2030. This week, 7-Eleven added two. Mercedes-Benz Charging Up added two. Pilot Flying J added two, and these are stations. Tesla Supercharger added seven. ChargePoint added 13. EVgo added four. Uh, there was just a data error that I had to clean up. Okay, let's go to the data. First one I'm going to do is check to see if Crossroads, Texas, or Springdale, Arkansas are in this list, and they are not. This is for me to be able to track the Walmart native DC fast charger outside of EVgo. Nothing there yet. Racetrack still has one open. However, all these in Texas are under construction with canopies. One of the canopies is actually energized, so we'll be getting more uh, activity from racetrack here shortly and also they've received a nevi award i think in georgia um, i forgot where but they did receive one nevi award this is 7-eleven seven charge uh, there are two new ones right here one in british columbia and one in california this is the circle k with the with the couch chart added to there are no new except for the couch chart additions but um Nothing new there. Still waiting for some activity out of Circle K. I'm sure they're going to pick up the pace here shortly. These are the Bucky's locations. There's 13. If you look right here, they did February 28th, March 1st, March 2nd, March 2nd. So they were definitely on a building spree. And their total now is 13. This location in Temple, Texas was a bit of a sleeper site. It was an unplugged share. I didn't know about it, and then it suddenly opened. And Richmond, Kentucky opened very abruptly. It went from being under construction to being almost done and to being open in a very short amount of time. So that was an aggressive build right there. Next one is uh, Pilot Flying J. They opened two, one in Brookshire, Texas, and one in Castleton on Hudson, New York. Brookshire is west of Houston. Castleton on Hudson is the furthest north location so far. Next one is Tesla Supercharger. And I would like to point out, my number here is 21,000. When they opened up the superchargers to Fords this week, they were throwing around a number of 27,000. What my numbers do not include are two things. One is the nation of Mexico. It's not included in this database. And if you look at the supercharger map, it does include Mexico locations. And secondly, uh, as you'll see here in a second, Tesla does not have very clean data. So unfortunately, as they add new sites, lots of times they do so what appears to be in haste, and then they go back after the fact and clean up the data. So there's a discrepancy in those coming from those two um, situations. Next one is ChargePoint, or I'm sorry, the next one is Electrify America. There are no new stations this past week. Next one is ChargePoint. And I went to this location right here and I asked, hey, I understand you guys have a new uh, EV charger on your property. And the person said, yes, but it's in the service stall. So it's not open to the public, which means this graph includes restricted locations. Now, if you look on PlugShare, normally that's a small percentage of the overall DC fast charger, something like 5%. I don't know. I'm just shooting from the hip. I don't have any hard numbers on that. But these numbers sadly do include restricted locations. But here's the new ones from ChargePoint in the past week. 13. Next one is EVgo. And I have pruned out the 
pilot flying J locations out of the EVgo numbers. And they have four stations opened in the past week, according to the General Motors uh, earnings report slide deck. They're going to be building these pretty quickly. And four in one week for EVgo is a pretty good number. And if you look at the stall counts, it's pretty high and everything. So th this is encouraging right here. Uh, the charge point, crazy build. And if you look at these numbers, man, they do... 29th, 1st, 2nd, 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 5th, 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 7th, 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 8th. So charge point is definitely on their on their game right now. They're they're hitting their stride. Thanks for watching.